What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Diki, and welcome back to Diki Swap. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys about why your perception of reality is actually kind of ruining your life. Now, recently, I realized this. <laughs> I realized this about myself. I realized that I had not only a negative perception of my family, but I had a negative perception of the world. I constantly felt like people like judged me or like people were making me feel bad. When in reality, I was making myself feel bad. Somebody would respond a certain way to something that I did or something that I showed them and I would just take that assumption that I had of how they responded to it and I would run off with it, you know, with this crazy perception and felt like they hated me or like they disliked me. But it turns out that a lot of those cases were just misunderstandings. Like I said, in the past, people have judged me, but after a while, they didn't need to judge me because I started doing it to myself. <laughs> I would have these arguments in my in my head about like things that I could have said in a certain moment or like me saying like something to someone that I've always wanted to say but like that's not happening <laughs> that's not real like it was like I don't know I was mad at, mad at them for stuff that hadn't even happened and I was just kind of going crazy so this weekend, I kind of decided to take a step back from all that and just relax and enjoy things and experience things for how they are, not for how I want them to be. And I had a great time. It was my nephew's third birthday and we went to a ranch. And it was a petting zoo. And normally I would be standoffish, but like, I decided that I was going to talk more. The reason why I had been standoffish is because I felt like people responded to me a certain way when I did a certain thing. But I was like, no. Anything that doesn't serve me, it's gone. Anything that isn't uplifting me and making me feel better, gone. Like, those are self-limiting beliefs. Telling yourself that, oh, if I don't have this thing, that I can't be this thing. The reality is that even if you don't have what you want, you can still control how you feel. So, so for example, right? If I had a million dollars, I would be happy. That doesn't even sound crazy because, I, I mean, that doesn't even sound right because you don't need a physical thing in order to be happy. You're not chasing the physical thing. You're chasing the feeling of it. You feel me? So you don't need to wait until you have that thing in order to feel like that. You control your emotions. You control how you feel. So if you want to feel good about something, just feel good about it. I feel like for a long time, I was operating from a, a system or a mindset that I lacked something when in reality what I lacked was confidence <laughs> I have started to understand that if I want to be the person that I want to be I just have to be the person that I want to be do things that the person I want to be would do. And then that's just how you are, who you want to be. So if you want a million dollars, do things that the you that has a million dollars would do. Would you get up and eat in the morning or work out and pray? What would your day look like if you made a million dollars a month? You know? And try to do those things in order to help you improve and change and be the person that you want to be. 
that's the only way that things are gonna get better. So, but yeah, if you guys like what you see, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the ride. Thank you guys so much for freaking watching. This video took like 15 tries to do, so thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Hope you have a good day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace, bitch.